Fishing boats offload their catch of yellowfin tuna outside Malé's central market. But it's not just the rising price of fish that's got people's attention over the past two weeks. The presidential elections look as if they're going down to the wire. And despite a solid economic performance, there are concerns the current administration hasn't lived up to expectations. This new government came into power with pledges to hold um, people accountable. There were commissions that were made specifically to look into human rights abuses, uh, deaths and disappearances, for example. Um, but there really hasn't been an outcome. What they have managed to do is keep major infrastructure projects like this on track. Land reclaimed from the sea for housing and industrial use. Both candidates have pledged to keep these projects going. The current president using money borrowed from India, the challenger turning back to China. Some fear that could leave the Maldives caught in a game of geopolitics. But President Soleil has been going back to basics on the election trail. He came seven points behind his main rival in the first round of the vote and has a lot of ground to make up. President Soleil in confident mood just before the election. But he's got a lot of work to make up. The opinion polls suggest it's currently a dead heat of undecided voters will be the difference. As darkness falls, a long line of voters queue up for their selfie with the president. No one turned away, not when every vote counts. Across town, the opposition candidate hosting a live Q&A. He's already well established as the mayor of the capital, Malé, and he thinks he's ready for the next step. Well, I think um, the, I've, I've been to many islands. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of um, interaction with the people. I've seen how the people, uh, you know, they have seen their views on how they want this country to go forward. So I think I'm going to it. And you're the man for the job? I think so. He does have history on his side. No president in the Maldives' recent history has managed to secure re-election. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera, Mali. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.